Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from OSCON 2013 in Portland, Oregon. I'm here with Dan Handy. Dan, how you doing? Doing great, thanks. So you're with Bluehost, which is part of Endurance International. Can you talk a little bit about Endurance and Bluehost? Yes, um, Endurance International Group is uh, a group of collection of some of the best web hosting companies here uh, throughout the world, and we represent the uh, Bluehost brands um, out in Utah. We have an office. Okay. So, the way I understand it is the Endurance International Group is probably the largest conglomerate of hosting now? Yes, there's, yes. Uh, there's millions of websites that we host now, uh, and, and each of the primary brands uh, have quite a number of users. Okay, and so Bluehost has been coming to OSCON for at least a couple of years that I know of, uh -huh. maybe longer, yeah. and you, you seem to have a unique play here, and can you describe a little bit about your relationship? with the open source community? Yeah, that's a, a great point. Uh, from the time that Bluehost started back in 2003, we always tried to build our, our service on open source. We used, utilized a lot of open source pieces. And so several years ago, we felt like it was important to give back to the community. We've contributed some things back, some of our developers and stuff, but we've also started making some donations in the open source community and sponsoring events like this. Um, and just trying to make a, a better environment for open source to to be propagated throughout the world. And so a lot of your customers that we, you would consider a mom and pop startup or something like that, they may not know it, but they're using an open source stack, and yet they have That's a right. web shop, and they're, they're totally... Um, not aware that they're really running on open source? No, no that's exactly right. One of the, the key elements of that, I mean, one of the biggest challenges of open source is the distribution, getting it out to the masses. So years ago, we developed a one-click installer so that you could take your open source package, whatever it is, whether it's an e-commerce application, a blogging platform, or whatever, and rather than have to go search for it and find the files, copy it over to your account and do all of that, we just allow the user to select the application that they want and with one click install it onto their account. And then it, it opens it up to these mom and pop businesses that don't know the technology but they would like an application like an e-commerce application or a form or an email form or whatever it is and it allows them to install it on their account and use it in an easy way. So by using open source technologies and tools and the whole stack at Bluehost, That's right. you are enabling uh, small businesses to get started at a fraction of what it would cost them to do it all themselves? That's right. In fact, last year we did a joint study with O'Reilly on looking at the impact of open source on small businesses. Uh, you look at even looking at a traditional brick and mortar store uh, where the investment is required to start up a business and to get something going but to do utilizing open source technologies where the licensing is free to the user on the application and we build this open you know this stack uh, for the hosting platform on open source then we're able to provide a really economically cheap solution to the user that lets them get their feet wet and test their business out and as it takes off grow and scale at a very economical cost and, and with your engineers in between all that, so yeah. that the complexity of the open source tools that might be underneath, they're not having to learn how to administer a Linux you know, That's installation right. or a, even a WordPress with all the plugins installation. You That's guys right. are handling all that. That's right. The next steps also that we've taken is that we're trying to improve our marketplace for in the installation of these scripts to notify the users when an update is available because that's a big problem like their scripts get out of date they can get hacked so now it'll notify them and say hey there's an update available and also uh, to be able to with one click install additional plugins or enhance their open source application that they're using uh, rather than having to go search for them they can find it just in their control panel and be able to do that too. So I know Bluehost has had this um really good corporate citizenship where they're yeah. giving back. Mm -hmm. um, and you're going to continue, I'm sure, to yes. do that sort of thing. Yeah. And um, OSCON is a great venue for that. Yeah. What do you see coming in the future with Bluehost and OSCON and other things um, in the open source area? Well, we, uh, we're we really excited about our partnership with OSCON, uh, and we plan on continuing that. Uh, great way to connect with the community. Uh, one of the things that we're working on for the future is finding a way with some of our new products with our VPS and dedicated servers to be able to optimize server-side settings so that the open source, a particular open source application can run optimally in, in that particular stack. Because 
each application has slightly different needs and maybe a particular web server works better or a database server or whatever. So we have the opportunity now to sort of customize the stack the to stack. the yeah, application. Nice. We're just starting on that, and I'm, I'm really excited about that, that we can do that for the different applications because you can get so much better performance out of the application if you tune it specific. Or tune the that. stack to be specific towards exactly. the need. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly yeah. right. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Well, Dan, we look forward to seeing you at OSCON next year yeah. and all the great contributions you guys are making. Great. I appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. <laughs>